Hello guys and welcome to a new video and it's the first video in the new season 6 In this video I'll be showing you guys my new favorite close range gun in the game which is the MX-9 So this video will be in two parts First of all I'll show you guys a comparison between the MX-9 and the Mera SMG gun for the past few seasons the Fennec and I'll explain why it's my new favorite gun also it will allow you guys to decide if the gun is good for you or not based on the stats that I'm about to show you and the second part will be a very intense Alcatraz gameplay where I'll be using the MX-9 so that you guys can see it in action I really hope you guys find this useful and if you want to make this video into a series then let me know down in the comments and tell me which guns you want me to compare next let's get started So first of all we'll start with the damage and the time to kill for both guns As always I'll be testing against an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP with all shots directed to the chest area And I'll be testing in two different ranges at 5 meters range and 20 meters range Let's start with the Fennec At 5 meters range it deals a total of 14 damage and it has a fire rate of 1,121 rounds per minute which means it kills within 535 milliseconds as for the MX-9 it deals 16 to 17 damage at 5 meters range but it has a slower fire rate of 856 rounds per minute therefore it has a minimum killing time of 560 milliseconds and a maximum killing time of 630 milliseconds which is almost the same as the Fennec and that's something I never expected I always thought that the Fennec kills much faster at this range now both the Fennec and the MX-9 maintain the same damage up to 15 meters range however the Fennec has an attachment that allows it to have longer range and therefore more damage which is the monolithic suppressor and that's an attachment that is not available for the MX-9 something to keep in mind when it comes to the monolithic suppressor when you equip it on SMGs it's basically useless within 15 meters range because the damage will remain the same however it starts taking effect at around 20 meters range and that's why I chose this range for the second test so at this range the Fennec deals a total of 11 damage and it kills with 695 milliseconds as for the mx9 at 20 meters range it deals 9 damage which means it can kill an enemy with 1.1 seconds so the fennec beats the mx9 in the killing time at all ranges then why did i choose it to be my new favorite close range gun well first of all at 15 meters the damage difference isn't much second of all there are other things we need to consider the mx9 has five extra bullets in the mag and even though it may sound like nothing Trust me, it makes a huge difference. Second of all, the Fennec reloads within 1.16 seconds, while the MX-9 reloads in less than a second. And again, it sounds like nothing, but you will realize how broken it is once you try it yourself and once you see the gameplay in this video. Next, the MX-9 has some insane hip fire accuracy, which is one of the best I've seen in a while. And you can laser enemies easily even at 15 to 20 meters range. So even though the Fennec kills faster, you will end up missing many shots. While with the MX-9, you will hit most of your shots and end up killing your enemies faster. The MX-9 also has less recoil and you can control it easier even when you ADS. Finally, having slower fire rate doesn't necessarily mean it's bad because with slower fire rate you can control the gun much easier and kill your enemies with a lot of bullets still remaining on the mag which will allow you to kill other enemies without having to reload. The only situation where I think the Fennec is better than the MX-9 is at very close range, where you're basically hugging your enemy at 5 to 10 meters range. So I provided everything you need to know about this gun and it's up to you to decide which gun is better. As for the gun Smith builds they should be popping on the screen right now for both guns I went for hip fire build in both guns with a bit of mobility pool so try to use it only with hip fire except for the MX-9 you can use it with ADS up to 30 meters range if you're good with your recoil control now let's move on to the second part where you guys will witness a crazy game with a rough ending against a toxic enemy First aid kit now. I'm in shot now.
Enemy down. Enemy. Using adrenaline shot now. كلكم قاعدين تدوروا In case you guys don't know, Activision buffed all the toxic airdrop guns again, including the war machine and the purifier. Now you can't go face to face against a purifier enemy unless you can one shot them with a shotgun. Which is sad, honestly. There were many games where I had plus 25 kills and zero deaths only to die to some guy with a war machine camping in a corner. And the funny thing is they always kill themselves with it too. I really hope Activision balances them out again because it's just stupid. I really hope you guys found this useful and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Again let me know if you guys want to see more gun comparisons. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.